Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to Made Every Day. I'm going to help you make cool things out of everyday items. And today we are amping up these basic party streamers and turning them into really fun, festive streamers. Let's get started. This is a simple project to do and it's the same technique I use when I have to gather yards and yards of fabric. So turn on a little music in the background while you sew. These are standard crepe paper streamers that I purchased at the party store for about a dollar. And you can use three colors, you can use two colors. I've never tried it with four, but that might be kind of fun. And first you wanna keep them organized. I found the best way to do that is to use a little wooden dowel, kind of a craft stick that I always have on hand. Stick it through the three spools in the order that you want them to be. And then I'm just gonna hold these down on my legs and pull the pieces out as I go. If you don't keep them on a dowel and you just keep pulling them from the spool, they tend to get all tangled and twisted. So this is the best method that I've found. Take the spool and I'm gonna put it right down here between my legs to hold it. I've pulled out some extra right here to work with. And what you wanna do is overlay these in the middle so you can sew all three streamers together at the same time. So take whatever colors you want on the outside first and lay them over each other about an inch and then lay the other color on top. And I found that it kind of looks more fun if you use a lighter color on top because then you can see the other colors underneath. It's kind of a little rainbow effect or ombre type thing. And then we're just gonna sew them all together. And before we start sewing, we're gonna make a couple adjustments on our machine. You wanna change the stitch length to the longest stitch possible, which in my case is a five. And then you wanna adjust your tension so it's the strongest tension possible. This is what's gonna make it ruffle up because it's having a hard time getting through the machine. So I'm turning mine to a 10. Now we're ready to sew. Do a start and back stitch at the very beginning. Then the real key to getting it to ruffle up and gather here is gonna to be to create even more tension by holding onto the spool of thread up here. You don't wanna hold it so tight that it's gonna snap the thread. It's kind of a give and take and you'll feel it as you start sewing. But I'm just gonna hold on this slightly and you will see the streamer start to ruffle up. Ah, look at that. Okay, then as you start to go down, just readjust and pull your streamers over. Sew some more. Now I'm barely even holding on to this spool here. Just that little amount is making it ruffle up. And look how cool that is. This is the exact same technique I use when I have to ruffle a bunch of fabric that doesn't have to be exact. If you have a small amount of fabric that's fitting like, say in a sleeve, then you wanna use a proper method of gathering. But this is kind of a really cool shortcut. And make sure that these are continually layered over each other so that you're sewing through all three streamers at the same time. Now when you feel that your streamers are getting a little bit tight, you'll probably need to pour a little bit extra down from your legs here. Just pull a bunch out. Sometimes I throw it over my shoulder like that. And just keep going. When you get to the desired length, do a little back stitch and then cut the streamers. And look at that, you have got some really fun party streamers. Now hang them from the wall, twist them from the ceiling, put them on a chair, and get ready for your party. For more patterns and ideas, check out my website, danaminute.com, and click subscribe to be updated on all of our latest videos. I will see you later.